Welcome back to the 18th of Remaking Hotline Miami and today we're gonna do the shotgun which is multiple shots at the same time. So here we just do it in a specific cone. So here and boom. Before that we just had a single shot with a specific spread. Now we're gonna recycle this spread variable but use it for a circular uh, spread of different kind of uh, shots at the same time. Time. And this is pretty much it. So this is one up indie. I am a developer. If you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider subscribing, sharing, and liking? Alrighty, so let's go into our project, our hotline clone. And here, very, very similar stuff. So basically, we can just uh, copy paste that stuff. This is nothing special. So if you watch the last videos, uh, copy paste and just adapt a few values. So this will be a very short video. Shot gun, here we go. And of course we can use this for the values, for the damage, for the spread. So this is what we did in the last videos. Nothing special in my opinion. Boom, boom, and boom. We're gonna get rid of you here. And of course no random value. And of course the reload time for that. And of course the muzzle and well this stuff can stay because we just use one ammunition theoretically and then of course we want to use the timer or uh, reset the timer once alrighty there are a few values which need to change very quickly so 24 by 24 as the length and then i had set i guess 20 here we go and 20 boom just just different kind of values and now Normally we would be just creating one shot, but we want to do it something like this. So basically we have the image angle or the direction of the player, which where he is facing. And now what we are doing, we select suite. We are adding a value of an angle. So for example, for me, it's just three as a value. So boom, three upwards, and then three upwards also, and then now it's six. Now it's nine. And of course we can do the negative version if we minus values here. So we just go here, minus three and minus three. Of course, if you want to have a bigger spread, then you have a different kind of value for your shotgun spread, which I'm reusing now to create this circular um, spread all over. And of course, this will create uh, every time the same result. So if you want to have this a little bit more randomly then you have to put in some random values but we're gonna keep it clean and keep it every time the same so how can we do this well we're gonna do and say like hey var e equals to zero so e will be our iteration value e is smaller than six and what you need to understand here is that we are creating six shots one in the direction of the player and five upwards so later on i will just say i1 and then you will see that because um, hopefully this will not confuse you in this kind of direction so here we go and basically this is pretty much it so we could actually start it so basically the damage the speed the friction is just adapted to our uh, eye control thing so for example the spread is three you can actually check it out let's go in there What's our spread? Uh, it's three. It's small, of course. Well, you can adapt it to the value you like. So let's start it. All right, so we are picking up our shotgun and now you will see in the direction one shot and a five upwards. And of course, nothing is happening. Why is that? Well, because I completely forgot to input the very most important thing, the I value times the spread aye, aye, aye. rookie mistake all right so let's <laughs> give it a second try and now this should work as you can see we're shooting upwards in a cone of course if you want to have the cone a little bit uh, more bigger so i guess we go for a value of uh, let's go uh, eight yes eight and then what we can do we can do actually the other thing around so basically the downward spread then we just have i2 value basically the same stuff i2 but now we go minus boom and then well we are pretty much done of course here we start with a one because 
we would be having two shots at the direction of the player if, if, if this is zero and this is not what we want of course you can do this doesn't really matter in my opinion but let's check it out yeah and this is a really brutal spread and that was it for today hopefully you enjoyed this and the next video will be about collisions so have a good one one up indie